Pete, um, no clouds about. Looking forward to Saturday. It is Derby Day, but plenty of tension around your Mare Black Caviar and all your runners, but so far, so good weather-wise. Yeah, it's been tremendous since Saturday. A little bit of rain, but nothing of note. So uh, let's hope it continues that way all week and uh, we can see a nice surface there for uh, all competitors, not only her. I think at the moment we've got uh, in the slow range at Randwick, but you know, things can change over the next few days. But from your point of view, your mare, she's well. She had a track gallop yesterday. She worked at Caulfield yesterday morning. I was really pleased with her work. She worked uh, half mile the reverse direction on the course proper and uh, it was really pleasing. I was uh, happy I went home and watched her because I probably wouldn't have believed how well she worked uh, had I not seen it. So, uh, no, all systems go. So, uh, just got to get through the trip later in the week, um, which she's an old hand at. And looking forward to Saturday. You work a Monday morning, given the fact she's got to travel up to Sydney? Yeah, that, and it gave me the opportunity to see her and then be here at Rose Hill Tuesday to see my other runners. So it's probably as much for my convenience as hers as well. Exciting times for everyone to be involved. Um, the rest of the week, track work point of view, I said she's got to travel up, but you don't have to do much with her? No, that'll do her, and uh, the trip up will be a sort of last bit of work. But, uh, no, she's where we want her. She pulled up very good in the wind, and uh, no, very pleased uh, you know, no issues at all. Karuta Queen, um, terrific run first up. You would have been very pleased with uh, what you saw at Muni Valley. Yep, no, she's going super. And uh, the last couple of weeks, I reckon the pennies dropped. She's settled right into our routine. I, I hadn't seen the sharp, sparkly Karuta Queen I was looking for or, or what I believed she might have been until the last couple of weeks. But her work's really come on. So, uh, all being well, she'll take a place in the Sapphire, and uh, if she runs to her work uh, as she did at Caulfield yesterday morning, I expect her to run extremely well also. You also take that little bit of extra confidence that uh, I suppose she ha spent most of her career going this Sydney way. Yeah, exactly. You know, it was no dramas for her, and uh, she coped with it very well. We, we did work with the reverse just because we've been going the other direction for the last few months, and uh, no, she seemed right at home. From a two-year-old's point of view, uh, El Cavallo is an emergency in the golden slip. I think he caught everyone's eye this morning from a track work point of view. He looked pretty sharp in his gallop. Yeah, he's, uh, he's adapted well. He's a real bomb-proof professional little two-year-old. Uh, his work was lovely. He worked with an older horse out wide in the course proper. He had every opportunity to do anything wrong and nothing phases him. He just goes about his uh, trade unbelievably for a horse with very little experience. So uh, He takes his place in the kindergarten and uh, you look forward to seeing him go around again. Another horse and something we've probably been told a thousand times. Uh, so man up, what can you tell us about it? Nice colt, uh, high chaparral horse. He was very good winning a thousand metre two-year-old maiden from the outside gate at Cranbourne, which you don't expect high chaps to do. Massive step up to the size, but there's just a lull in races for him in Victoria. Uh, it's something I don't like to do, but I think he's a quality colt. The trip away from home will bring him on no end from a spring viewpoint. So I'm not kidding myself, taking on the slipper winner and the likes in the size, but he's something pretty special I think you'll find. Uh, whether he's got his mind wrapped around it enough to be competing with these horses at this stage, big question mark. Uh, but look out come the spring, he's, he's a very nice colt. And Viola Ichi goes around the Doncaster prelude and just watching um, it work this morning, did a little something diff different with it? Yeah, he did a couple of bits of work and he just got a bit complacent and he didn't let go on the firm track here at uh, Rose Hill the other day. He didn't try a yard, the old bugger, so uh, we've just chopped and changed his work a bit. We do that with those international horses, a bit like Managar, and uh, you, you just want to mix it up a bit. And his work was nice and sharp. Like he d I don't believe he needs a genuine wet, although that would be an advantage, although at a disadvantage, a pretty important stable, mate. But as long as there's give in the ground, uh, he... You know, he'll run a much more competitive race. His spring form in Melbourne at this trip was very good. Uh, I think he ran second to uh, the Cox Plate winner, whose name just escaped me at 1800, second up in Melbourne uh, last prep at Group 1 level. So uh, uh, just looking for a positive to tell me where I'm going, whether we're going Queen Elizabeth or whether we're going to Queensland for the Hollandale or, or whether he's just not trying for me at all and we've got to look at a different tact again.